bigger isn't always better. Sometimes it's the smallest things that leave the biggest impact. The world's tiniest aircraft are a testament to incredible feats of engineering, ingenuity, and creativity. These compact marvels, often lightweight and ultra-efficient, have redefined aviation by pushing the boundaries of what's possible in flight. From minimalist cockpit designs to ultralight planes that could fit in your garage, these tiny aircraft offer a thrilling new perspective on the world of aviation. Cirrus Vision SF-50 With a seating capacity of 7, this jet stands out as the smallest private jet available with such a large seating arrangement. The Vision Jet represents the fulfillment of a vision to reinvent and reimagine jet aircraft, creating a new category known as the personal jet. It's designed specifically for owners to pilot themselves, eliminating the need for a full-time professional pilot or dedicated flight department. Positioned between high-performance piston aircraft and very light jets, the Vision Jet offers simplicity in flying, ease of ownership, and operational efficiency, making it a game-changer in personal air travel. Constructed entirely from composite materials, this aircraft combines cutting-edge design with impressive specifications. The cabin is 5.1 feet wide and 4.1 feet high while the exterior dimensions include a length of 30 feet, a wingspan of 38 feet, and a height of 10 feet. Powered by a single Williams FJ334 A19 turbofan engine, generating 1,900 pounds of force and mounted above the rear fuselage, the Vision Jet boasts a cruising speed of 351 miles per hour and a maximum speed of 358 miles per hour. Although initially developed for personal use, the Vision Jet received FAR Part 135 certification in 2019, making it eligible for air taxi operations and broadening its appeal beyond private ownership. JD2 Dyke Delta The world of experimental home-built aircraft is filled with unique designs, but one of the most striking is this JD-2 Dyke Delta, created by John Dyke in the 1960s. Inspired by the Delta Wing jets of the 1950s, this aircraft features a distinctive flying wing design that seats four. But it's not just about its eye-catching appearance pilots who've flown it, praise its gentle handling, impressive fuel efficiency, and light wing loading, which allows for smooth landings at just 55 miles per hour. It is a monoplane with a retractable tricycle undercarriage, and its standout feature is that the wings can be folded upward for easy towing or storage, lying flat above the fuselage when not in use. The aircraft has a metal frame covered with laminated fiberglass or Dacron fabric. Its delta wing configuration provides a higher cruising speed than similarly powered and weighted conventional aircraft. Measuring 19 feet in length with a 22-foot wingspan and a height of 5 feet, the Dyke Delta can reach a maximum speed of 200 miles per hour and has a range of 870 miles. For those interested in building one, plans are still available for purchase. However, it's not a project to take lightly. The entire frame requires hand welding and construction typically takes between 4,000 and 5,000 hours. While it's certainly a labor of love, the design has proven its durability, with over 50 of these planes built from the original blueprints. Gen H-4 The Gen H-4 is possibly the smallest rotary wing aircraft capable of lifting a person into flight, thanks to its unique design featuring two coaxial contra-rotating two-bladed rotors with 13-foot diameters. Developed by Japan's GN Corporation of Nagano, this ultralight helicopter is intended to be sold as a kit for amateur builders. The aircraft has a minimalist structure, consisting of an open-frame fuselage with a single seat, open cockpit, lacking a windshield, and four-wheeled landing gear. It's powered by four twin-cylinder, air-cooled, two-stroke engines, each producing 10 horsepower. The helicopter uses a simple yet effective control system, with steering achieved by tilting the rotor head using a gimbal-mounted control handle, much like a weight shift hang glider. Altitude control is handled by adjusting the throttle for climb and descent. 
The Gen H4 does not require a tail rotor, as its contra-rotating main rotors cancel out net torque, making the design more efficient. It was engineered to comply with US FAR 103 ultralight vehicle regulations, which limit the maximum empty weight to 254 pounds. The Gen H4 itself has a standard empty weight of just 154 pounds, well within these limits, offering a unique and accessible option for aviation enthusiasts. Ruppert Archaeopteryx With its 44-foot wingspan as its biggest feature, the Archaeopteryx is otherwise a compact aircraft, designed for just one pilot in a rather snug seating arrangement. This Swiss high-wing, pod-and-boom, single-seat micro-light glider was designed by Roger Ruppert and is produced by Ruppert Composite GmbH as a foot-launchable micro-light flight glider. Its design prioritizes lightweight construction, a low stall speed with smooth stall characteristics, excellent maneuverability, and strong high-speed performance. One of its standout features is the ability to be foot-launched even in zero wind conditions, making it versatile for a range of environments. For foot launches, the pilot opens the bottom cover to extend their legs, creating a truly unique flying experience. Its controls are conventional, with a control stick for the ailerons and elevator, and rudder pedals. Glide path control is managed by flaps, which can also serve as air brakes when set between 45 and 70 degrees. The aircraft is also equipped with a 62 square meter ballistic parachute for added safety. Impressively, the Archaeopteryx can be assembled and made flight ready by one person in just 15 minutes. Micron Helicopter Unveiled at MAX 2018 the Micron is a single-seat ultralight coaxial helicopter developed by Moscow-based RD Healy. Weighing in at just 250 pounds with a maximum takeoff weight of 530 pounds, the Micron's lightweight design allows it to bypass registration and pilot licensing requirements under most current regulations in most parts of the world. The helicopter boasts a cruising speed of 55 miles per hour, and a maximum airspeed of 70 miles per hour. On a full 19-litre fuel tank, it has a range of 60 miles, which can be extended to 150 miles with an optional 52-litre tank. Powered by a 60 HP Rotax 503 engine, the Micron runs on regular unleaded gasoline, making it a convenient and economical option for various uses. While ideal as a personal transport, the Micron's versatility extends to roles such as freight transportation, surveillance, fire patrol, and even agricultural applications. Designed with compactness in mind, its foldable fuselage, detachable rotor blades, and tail boom make it easily transportable on trailers or in small containers, enhancing its portability and practicality for a wide range of tasks. Spacek SD-1 Minisport the Spusek SD-1 Minisport is a Czech-designed, amateur-built aircraft created by Igor Spacek and produced by Spacek in Hodonin. This aircraft features a cantilever low-wing design, a single-seat enclosed cockpit, and is available with either fixed conventional landing gear or optional tricycle landing gear. It also sports a T-tail and a single engine in a tractor configuration. Due to its lightweight design, it qualifies for Germany's 120 kg ultralight category and complies with the United Kingdom's SSDR rules for single-seat deregulated micro-light airplanes. Constructed primarily from wood with the strategic use of composites, including the wing spar, the SD-1's 19.7-foot wingspan incorporates an A315 airfoil. The wings have an area of 65 square feet and are equipped with flaperons for enhanced control. Powered by engines ranging from 24 to 50 horsepower, the aircraft is capable of reaching a maximum speed of 115 miles per hour, making it an efficient and accessible option for aviation enthusiasts. For a short period, it was also manufactured in the United States by Skycraft Airplanes in Orem, Utah, as a light sport aircraft, but the company went out of business by 2017. 
The SD-1 is available in various forms, including as plans for DIY builders, a kit for amateur construction, or as a ready-to-fly aircraft. Helisport CH-7 The Helisport CH-7 is a series of ultralight helicopters originally based on a single-seat design from Argentina in the late 1980s, later developed into a tandem two-seat version, which remains in production today. These kit-built helicopters are powered by piston engines and feature the traditional penny-farthing layout with two-bladed main and tail rotors. The main rotor, made from composite materials, is a teetering semi-rigid design with a six degrees twist, optimizing its performance. The aircraft's steel frame, which supports both the cockpit and the semi-exposed engine positioned behind the seats, connects to the main rotor shaft via a belt drive system. The helicopter's tail rotor and swept fins are mounted on a slender aluminium boom, reinforced by two long struts extending to the lower fuselage frame. This simple yet effective design makes the CH-7 series a popular choice among amateur builders and ultralight aviation enthusiasts, offering reliable performance and ease of construction. Jetman Suit the Jetman suit is a revolutionary flying wing suit system that functions as a backpack outfitted with carbon fiber wings and four jet engines. Its wing, constructed from a series of bolted carbon fiber panels, boasts an eight-foot span, making it one of the smallest winged aircraft in the world. The engines used in the Jetman suit are Jetcat P400S, which are scaled-down versions of the engines typically found in commercial jets. This innovative device can achieve flight durations of approximately 13 minutes, covering distances of up to 31 miles at maximum speeds of 253 miles per hour. Recently, Jetman pilot Vince Refet demonstrated the craft in Dubai, reaching an average speed of 149 miles per hour and altitudes exceeding a mile high. The Jetman suit is still under development, with the ultimate aim of allowing individuals to experience flight in the world in entirely new ways.